Oh, yeah. Um, I'm real excited for that. Um, you know, the first game is always real exciting, always more emotion than that first game of the year. Uh, just really looking forward and excited to, you know, what this team is going to be, what our identity is going to be. And, you know, it all starts on Saturday. Um, put, we're going to put in the work in it every day this week. We've had a good summer, had a good camp. And, you know, now we, like you said, get to go ahead and hit somebody else other than each other. So that will be, be fun for sure. Uh, no, not really. I just know that we put in the work. Uh, a lot of new new faces, guys that will contribute, uh, you know, have bigger roles this year on defense, but still a lot of vet guys, guys who have experience, uh, you know, playing in big games, playing and, you know, just playing, period. Um, but I, I don't want to compare or do anything like that. Just, you know, I just know that we put in the work and we're going to continue to put in the work. Uh, no doubts in my mind at all. I'm actually really excited to see what Kelly can do. Um, you know, he's 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 my quarterback. He's the he's him and Tucker are the guys I came in with. Uh, you know, they're that 2015 class. Um, you know, and so you know, I'm really excited to see what Kelly's going to do. I have all full faith in Kelly that he can get the job done, and and really excited that he's our starter. Um, you know, and I think that you know, if Clemson Nation, you know, really gets behind Kelly or whoever the quarterback is throughout the course of the season, then they're then they're going to do a great job. Um, you know, that's my challenge to Clemson Nation and everybody else too, really, just to sort of support and be, you know, and you know that same love that number four got last year and the years before. You know that you know I know it's going to have to be earned, but you know definitely Tiger Nation should give that same love and respect to whoever our uh, starting quarterback is because whoever it is is going to be able to get the job done. Oh yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely seen it. Um, you know, just Kelly making tighter throws. Uh, you know, throwing it in maybe certain windows here and there. Just really seeming really calm and cool at all times. Uh, not letting anything be too big, like be too be too be too big or too challenging for him. He's just really just seemed real calm and cool. And you know, there's a reason he's a starter and he's you know he's our leader now on offense. Um, really just, you know, the biggest thing I, I improved on in my game is just my knowledge. Um, you know, I'm more, I know a lot more about offenses now, um, you know, because you really, my first, my first year here, it was really just knowing, learning the plays was like the biggest learning curve. And, you know, everything was brand new to me. The last year, you know, things kind of slowed down. Uh, now, even this year, you know, it slowed down a lot more for me. Uh, you know, I can understand what offenses are trying to do, uh, schemes, things like that. And really, that's just going to help me, you know, to perform. You know, uh, to be a good defensive player, you got to know offense. So that's going to be, you know, a big thing for me this year is really picking up on what the offenses are trying to do. Are you surprised by how much progress Logan Rudolph and Justin Foster have made since then? Uh, not really, uh, because they put in the work. They're, they're grinders. Uh, Logan is just a competitive kid. Uh, you know, who, who just wants to work, wants to get better. You know, he, he the biggest thing is he just he just competes and he just works. And Justin, he's a really smart kid, uh, you know, and he just he just understands what we're trying to do, uh, you know, just has to play a little more free, a little more fluid. But he definitely gets what, we're, what we need him to do on defense. You know, he's a smart guy. He's a thinker. So he's, he was able to understand the plays and get what we're trying to do. Yeah, really, it's just, you know, it starts with the preparation. Uh, you know, if we all put in the work in on all phases of the game, special teams, offense, defense, then, uh, you know, we, we all should click. And uh, I think if we do that, then, you know, we'll be a tough team to beat if we're all clicking on all cylinders. And if we're all playing at our best, you know, it's going to make it hard on other teams, you know. Uh, and really just understanding, you know, that, you know, each individual person understands that they have a job they have to do you know, for the overall team success. And if everyone does their jobs on both sides of the ball and on special teams, then we'll be fine. Are you on the field goal block this year? Uh, yes, that's, that's, the, that's the plan. Um, you know, I like to, I know that's a, a, lot, a lot of people might not take, you know, field goal block, uh, you know, that an extra point or whatever, you know, serious, but I take a lot of pride in that. Um, you know, it's, it's a momentum swing. Uh, it's def it's just still a play, it counts as something. So, you know, I definitely try to go hard on that snap and the whole defense really does too. Uh, you know, 
And that's just something we, you know, we really like to hang our hat, our hat on is going hard on that down. You know, you could judge a lot by a fo- uh, of a, you could judge a lot about a football team by how they play, you know, field goal block, things like that. So how did football team lose that game and jump over the line? Uh, well, now that sucks for me cuz I was hoping to do that this year at some point. No, but uh, I mean, it may, it makes sense why they why they added that role in, but I mean, it's it's whatever, it's fine. Kansas State on film, they they like, you know, they like to run their quarterback. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, we've we've faced a lot of running, some pretty good uh, running quarterbacks. Uh, but yeah, this quarterback's definitely pretty good. Uh, can you know he definitely, he's pretty athletic. I've seen him hurdling guys and you know just stiff arming guys all in one play. It's been pretty crazy. And um, you know he's really athletic. Um, and just their offensive scheme is pretty uh, pretty simple, but he's definitely effective. Um, you know, and if we don't do what we have to do. On defense, then you know they have they have some guys. They have a lot of fast guys on offense. They have like two track stars and uh, you know just guys with speed and talent that could get the job done. So we're gonna have to be on it this week. Uh, definitely, and maybe with the, a lot of what they like to do, that's definitely an emphasis. Um, and you just gotta be ready for it, but also. You got to be alert for pumps and things like that because this is a runner quarterback. So you know, just because he, just because he's shorter, uh, he's also really athletic. So if you get your hands up and he's not throwing that ball, then you know he could tuck it, run, whatever. So. Well, that makes it more of a big goal for y'all to um, create pressure on the interior than pressure on third. Yes and no. Just any pressure is good pressure. Uh, you really, um, but yeah, that's you really got to just do your job. Really, um, you know, whatever type of. We, and really, it just comes down to the chemistry of the D line. Like you got to know what all the other guys are doing to kind of work off them, and you know, and then that's really what makes a good defense and a good rush. Yeah, you were one of the first three, three nominees for throwback player. What does that mean? I I didn't see that, and I don't know what the uh, throwback what the throwback player even means or anything like that. But I mean, I like. It's like you're an old school. Kind oh, okay. Of yeah. Well, I mean, that's cool. I guess. Um, yeah, I really don't know how I feel about it. I didn't know that until just now, so.